In a previous video, we showed you eight training exercises you can do on just half a court. And in today's video, we're going to show you nine fun games you can do on half a court. As well as being fun, they're also going to help you improve your game in many ways. The first four are quite common, so we won't spend too long on these. But make sure you listen out for us giving tips on all of the games as we go. First up is half court singles. This is a classic to see who's more consistent. The whole of the half is in after the serve, including the tram lines. Our rallies were usually about two minutes long in this game, but here's two of our more aggressive ones. Next up, we have half court box otherwise known as Danish or even English doubles. Here, the front and back tram lines are out, just leaving this middle box in. This is a lot more attacking as you can commit forward without worrying about the shuttle being lifted into the back tram lines. It encourages fast, flat play and also a doubles based serve and return situation. We play this game a lot before starting a training session or even sometimes before matches. It's also quite common to play in a four with each player taking their half. Lots of countries do this, as we showed in our All England vlog with the Japanese team doing it. The third game is service line back, where we now remove the front of the court. This eliminates any net play, however you can now lift to the back. It encourages patience at the front of the court and playing building shots to get the opportunity to attack. We have one more variation of this and then we're on to some more fun stuff. And this fourth variation is where the back is out. This may replicate a game where the shuttles are fast, so neither player is comfortable lifting. Instead, a big focus is around challenging the net. Again, you can press further forward knowing that the back is out, like you might do if you know you're playing with quick shuttles that are often going out the back of the court when your opponent lifts. So now we're going to ramp up the complexity and fun. Just when you thought we'd taken enough of the court out, we're now going to take this middle out. This is a challenging game that really gets you thinking. You have to have a high serve, but after that anything goes, as long as it's in. It's great for practicing the accuracy of your serve, lifts, drops and clears, and also great for practicing your judgement. For example, whether the shuttle is going to land in the back tram lines or not. Just think. How many times do you leave a shuttle that lands in in a game? And how many times do you hit it when it's going out? So this game is perfect to practice this. It's always great to push out of your comfort zones as well as thinking outside the box. It can really stimulate your learning in so many ways. And lastly, a quick tip for you, a flat smash is a good weapon in this game that not many people will be ready for. Next is a game of pure control and accuracy with just the tram lines in. Are you brave and confident enough to lift? We've played this for as long as we can remember. The rallies are slightly longer now than they used to be. So now we have a game where you have to hit the shuttle with a body part once before hitting it back over into the half court. For younger or more inexperienced players, you can use the hand as we're showing now. However, we tend to ban this and use other body parts so it isn't too easy. This is a slightly more unconventional game, but it's still good for making quick adjustments on court and again, getting you to think outside the box from a tactical perspective. Our penultimate game is a half court net game where you can either play points for just winning the rally or where you get a point for every net cord you get. 
Here I'm playing against world number one, Kento Momota, and just look how relaxed he is at getting that net caught back, and also the spin he can generate. Of course, in this, just the front section of the court is in. And last but not least, we have zones. This is played in many different ways, but essentially your opponent loses points when you hit winning shots in certain areas of the court. You both start at 15 or 21 points, and then you lose one point for a mistake in the net, out the side, or if your opponent gets a racket on it. And if it's a clean winner, your opponent loses three points for the front of the court, tram lines and rear court, or five points for the two small boxes you can see on the graphic. It's another great game to practice your accuracy and vision and playing into the gaps in the court. Now games like these can be used as a fun start to the session, a great way to end the session or could just be the whole session. Keeping your training fun using games like this is so important as it will ultimately mean that you enjoy your training and want to keep playing the sport. These different games that we've shown will still massively help you improve your game from decision making, tactical elements, shot quality and consistency, or simply just performing under pressure. They have it all. Now, here's our half court routines video. And if you've already seen that, why not check out this video here? And that's it for today's video. If you've enjoyed it, please give it a like, smash the subscribe button and share it with a friend who you're gonna try these half court games with. See you in the next one.